Welcome to Dual Chemistry. Uh, this is the first of several videos that you'll see all year long. And so I want to welcome you to the course. And I want to dive into our first topic, which is what is chemistry? What is this course that we've signed up for and just started? Well, first, I want to show you this. Uh, this is a lot of information. So let's just look at this from the left to the right. Um, on the left side, we see at the very top, we have the visible universe. And as we kind of go down in that uh, spectrum, we get into smaller and smaller sizes, galaxy, solar system, earth, human cell, atom, particle, we're zooming in. And in this area here, earth and space, social science, life science, these areas are the major, major branches of science and math. Um, and so if we look at earth and space science, that's astronomy and geoscience, we zoom in a little bit, and we get to the social sciences, sociology, psychology, zoom in even further and you're at life sciences with the biologies and then it's in this physical science space where we start to see chemistry and physics uh, this is the course that we're taking here this is what we're going to focus on in this year um, and what you'll notice is that it's between biology and physics and so if you've taken biology or physics uh, before uh, this should be kind of interesting to you because it should blend the two together for that reason chemistry has the nickname the central science uh, because it, it deals with kind of the, the larger scale of biology and the smaller scale of physics, blending the two. So let's look at what is chemistry. Chemistry is the study of matter and its changes. And I want to focus first on this word matter. Matter can be broken into two types, elements and compounds. Elements are types of atoms, which we will discuss. Uh, and compounds are when two or more different elements bond together chemically. Now, uh, we could also have a mixture of these two. Uh, in fact, that's very common, dirt, air. These are mixtures of elements and compounds. And then the changes that matter can undergo can also be delineated a couple different ways. I could have a physical change or a chemical change in matter. A physical change is something like phase changes, so melting, boiling, freezing. I could break something and bend something. All of those changes don't affect the identity of the chemical. In other words, the chemical makeup of that substance is the same before and after the physical change. But with a chemical change, we are making a new substance. We're breaking bonds between atoms and we're making new bonds. And that's the, the main difference. A chemical change is much deeper into the identity of the substance than a physical change is. Now, there are five branches within chemistry, and there are certainly branches within each of these, but I'll just give you the five overall branches of chemistry. Organic chemistry is the biggest branch. It's the branch that deals with carbon-containing compounds. Inorganic chemistry is more about metals and their interaction with nonmetals, not specifically about any one element in particular. Analytical chemistry is about the composition, the makeup of a substance, uh, forensics lives in analytical chemistry, and this year we'll be talking quite a bit about analytical chemistry. Physical chemistry, or PCHEM, is the connection between physics and chemistry, and then biology and chemistry intersect with biochemistry. Certainly more branches within these five branches, but these are the kind of the five general realms of chemistry. So what is chemistry? It's the study of matter and its changes. And I'm excited to get into studying this with you this year. Thank you.